Hello YouTube and welcome back <laughs> to the final episode of our Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. And as you can hear, I'm not alone. So introduce yourself. I, I don't want to. But you have to. You can't force me. I can. Do it. No, screw you. <laughs> Nobody likes you. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I am Espionage, and welcome, my guess, to the final episode of this. Um, you guys probably don't know me, um, because nobody likes me. I do. You don't. Um, you just want my subs. No, I don't. <laughs> yes, I do. Don't lie. I'm not lying. Liars go to, liars go to hell. I'm Southern Baptist. <laughs> I'm, kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I'm not. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Um, this is Espionage Gaming. Um, some of you might know him. Uh, I will be leaving a uh, link to his YouTube channel in the description yay. down below. So be sure to check that out. And if but, you don't sub, I'll kill you. Isn't that a bit drastic? No. Okay. <laughs> um, but not, no, yeah. no, no. Um, today we will be facing off against Cynthia, the champion of the Elite Four in the Sinnoh region, and, and hopefully he'll lose. Uh, I mean, when? I mean, when? That, that's totally what I meant. Okay, okay, okay. Um, but yeah. Um, before we start things off. Question of the day, who's your favorite champion? Ooh, ooh. Yeah. So who's yours and why? Um Steven. Seriously? Yeah. Yes. Wallace can go suck my dick. Yeah, okay. Wallace <laughs> is like the shittiest of all. <laughs> I mean, the the reason why I love Steven is because Pokemon Ruby was the first Pokemon game I ever played. Yeah. Okay? And I actually still have my Pokemon Ruby copy. That's so, amazing. Yeah. I, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, for me, I would have to say... Uh, probably your rival in, like, red, blue, and yellow... I mean, it's like you battle him so many times, yeah. and he just is always ahead of you, you know? So, yeah, I kind of like that aspect of it. Like, Yeah, I, I guess that's cool, too. And Pokemon Blue was the first Pokemon game I played, because I'm old, but oh well. Wow. <laughs> You're old. Uh, but, um... A quick party update, uh, not any, well, n nothing changed because we didn't lose anyone, but, um, first up we have Pokenos the Breloom at level 60 holding that Toxic Orb because he has that Poison Heal ability with Force Palm, Blaze Kick, Mock Punch, and Seed Bomb. I still think that's a little too overpowered. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have Scumbag, the Ariados, at level 60, holding that Expert Belt with Shadow Sneak, Poison Jab, Sucker Punch, and Psychic. Ooh, Psychic, Psychic, uh, maybe a little interesting. Yeah, but it's a physical, physical attacker, so yeah, that's kind of shitty. Um, next up, we have Jaws. The Feraligator, who is actually our starter Pokemon at level 62, holding that I, I Mystic still don't, Water. I don't understand how that thing's still alive. Uh, <laughs> I don't I either. Um, I mean, I seriously, seriously thought that I would lose against Malian's Lucario, because it killed four of my team members. Yeah. Lucario is pretty tough, though. That's true. I but yeah, um, Jaws has Waterfall, Crunch, Ice Fang, and Super Power. That's pretty good. I know. And it's a physical attacker, so fuck Surf. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, next up, we have Savage the Galate at level 60 holding that scope lens, so crits are nice. <laughs> um, yeah. With Psychic, Psycho Cut, Night Slash, Strength, and Close Combat. 
Hmm. All right. All right. Um. Then we have Snapback the Hunchcrow at level 60 holding that Drep Plate. Because, you know, we have to boost those Dark Tap moves. Yeah. Um, with Fly, Night Slash, Sea Bomb on Wing Attack. Mm. And last but not least, we have Chicken the Blaziken at level 61 holding that Flame. Mean chicken. That mean chicken. chicken. <laughs> Uh, but um, he's holding that flame plate because blaze kick isn't that powerful of a move in my own opinion. Um, yeah. And he's a physical attacker, so flamethrower isn't really a good move for him. So yeah. yeah. But he's rocking blaze kick, brave bird, poison jab, and sky uppercut. So yeah. That's actually a pretty good move, Sana. Yeah. I'm actually quite happy with him. So yeah. But yeah, let's hop into this. Have you been keeping well? Thank you for Mount Coronet and for the Distortion World. I'm truly you grateful. Know what, screw you! Together, you and your Pokemon overcame all the challenges you face, however difficult. It means that you've triumphed over any personal weaknesses too. The power you learned, it, I can feel yeah, it. Killing all those Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, kinda. I can feel it emanating from you. Is that a good or a bad thing? Um, I'm pretty sure <laughs> emanating something is not that good. Yeah, that's... <laughs> okay, but that's enough talk. Let's get on with why you're here. As the Pokemon League champion, I accept your challenge. <laughs> you're gonna be... You're, uh, you're gonna lose here. Oh, hopefully not, hopefully not. But we're like seven minutes into the video and we're starting to battle Cynthia. <laughs> yeah, I, I took I took way too long on the entrance. I'm sorry, don't kill me. Not really, not really. No. Okay, phew, but, it's all your fault. But Spiritomb is level 58. Um, would a stab yeah. Seed Bomb or Blaze Kick do more? Yeah, you know what, you're kind of screwed. Just saying. Yeah. Oh, and actually, I, uh, I guess it's time we should announce since uh, you're done with... This is the finale. The yeah. next... Let's play on, I'm pretty sure, his channel, and the next, and the one that's going to be going along with my Pokemon Ruby Randomizer Nuzlocke, which you guys should watch, just saying, um, is we are going to be doing a Pokemon Blaze Black and Volt White Egglock versus. So, yeah. Uh, however, we are not going to ask you guys to send any eggs in, because I'm making a box, he's making a box for each of us, and... Then my friend Triforce is going to be sending us each a box, so... Yeah, but... And, and then we're going to get, like, another box off the, of, like, other YouTubers. Yeah, probably. <laughs> if we run out, so... Yeah. Uh, that, that's going to be really fun, so... Yeah. And if you guys want to, I, I guess you can, but, I mean, we're not going to, like, beg you to make them. Yeah, that's true. But... So... I'm feeling like a stab seed bomb would do more. Yeah, seed bomb I think is gonna be your best bet against Sparatoon. Um, because I want hmm. You're gonna now I have to look this up. Uh Spirit Tomb. I ah. I wanna Holy shit I, it has psychic. Oh crap. You're screwed. And I took it. Oh, seriously? Yeah. It did mm. exactly 100 damage, and my Breloom has 198 HP. Yeah, um, I want to say that... Oh, it's defenses are the same. Oh, I yeah. thought they... I would have thought they would have been different. Yeah, but uh, a C-Bomb is actually a two-hit KO, so that's Spirit Tomb out of the way. All Thank right. God. Uh, um. Uh, hmm. Yeah. But I, I don't know. Cynthia's pretty tough. Yeah. Next up is Togekiss. Ooh. Ooh. To oh, I forgot about Togekiss. Oh, you. You're, you're I did as well, cause I have no one with not with an electric type move. Yeah. But I do have for alligator with with ice fang, which seems hmm. like my best bet. 
So yeah, come out, Jaws. Oh, uh. Jaws ain't gonna do shit. Aye. It's called Jaws, and it has ice fangs, so better kill. And holy shit, Tokyo uh. Kiss is level sixty. Yeah, air slash or sphere shockwave water pulse. Ooh. I'm looking uh, it up on Volopedia for okay. you, so you're welcome. <laughs> God damn it, that shockwave. Yeah. Wait, yeah. what Pokemon one do you have in there right now? For alligator. Oh. <laughs> and I take it. What the hell? But what? Ice Fang is also a two hit KO. Huh. But let me guess. Uh, Togekiss is faster. No. Oh, really? Yeah, what the hell, right? Huh. What if it's a speed tie and you just got lucky? That would be so awesome. <laughs> Next up is Rose Raid. Alright, Rose Raid. Ooh, uh, yeah, Rose Raid, you're gonna wanna switch out. But don't. Uh, I forgot what. Ooh. Do you have any Pokemon with a flying type move other than Blaziken? Uh, Honchcrow. Send in Honchcrow. That's your best bet. Yes, it has a psychic type attack. Wouldn't Glade be better? Cause it's neutral on him and a psychic cut would be quite effective, right? No. No? I mean, no, because psychic isn't super effective against grass. Isn't it? S no. What the hell? Psychic is Psychic's good against fighting and poison. Oh. Huh. Trust me, I know this. That's my favorite type. Yeah, okay, that's true. Okay, <laughs> so... Uh, Trust me on psychic types, okay? Yeah, I will, I will. Uh, I send out Hunchcrow against it. Uh, Rose Raid is level 58, so that should be okay. It's one of her low. It's one of her lowest level Pokemon. Yeah, Um. the only level I know is that Garchomp is level 62, so yeah. Yeah, Gar... And then you also have to watch out for that Lucario, though. Yeah... But luckily, this time I have two Pokemans with a fire type move. Yeah. Yeah. At, at least. Fly one shots the Rose Raid! Okay, she's probably gonna send in Milotic now. It probably is. And Hunchcrow grew to level 61. Nice, 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 nice. Not bad, not bad at all. Cynthia, I mean what? All right. So, what what is your least fa or favorite champion? I should say. Uh, yeah, your rival in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. Oh, right, right, right. What's your least favorite then? My least favorite. Biantha. Wait, who? From sixth gen. Biantha. Oh or... yeah, yeah. Um, However, I have to say she was probably one of the stronger ones in my opinion. Yeah. Okay. She isn't weak, but. And I think okay, but part of it was. Um, my Pokemon were really underleveled. Mine weren't. Oh, wait, I I literally had to find her like five times. I swept her the first time. Okay, like my Pokemon were all level like they were either fifty five to like sixty two. Okay, mine were around sixty five to seventy, and I have Mega Gengar on my team, so yeah. Jeez. I didn't use Megas. I did. That's the thing. But she actually sent out her Lucario. Oh, Lucario. Wait, you have... Blaziken. Um... Bla... Wow. Um, I guess maybe the Stone Edge is the best thing I would expect from it. Yeah, but... I'm guessing, uh, would Blaze Kick or Brave Bird do more? Cause... Um... Check their power, I guess, would be the best thing I could say. Yeah, but uh, Blaze Kick is also stab, right? So that also gets stab boost. And uh, yeah. uh, isn't steel resisted to flying? Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. So fuck so, it, Blaze Kick. Go for the, yeah, dude, go for the Blaze Kick. And we hit it, yeah. And? And? Kill, 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 kill. And it's a one shot. Damn. <laughs> Dude, I think the one thing you're gonna have to worry about though is that guard chomp. Yep. And she's sending out my low tick. Okay, yeah, you're gonna wanna switch. That thing has mirror coat and surf. Ah shit. Um It also has dragon pulse and ice beam. Okay. 
God damn it! So uh, it has Ice Beam for Bra Breloom, and it has Ice Beam for Honchkrow. And then it has Surfer, uh, Blaziken, and and Dragon Pulse. I think is neutral against everything on your team. Yeah, I think so. And then Mirror Coat. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna play it risky. I'm just gonna go out into Breloom. Because his speed uh, seed bomb is stab, you know? True, true. And yeah, ooh. the only thing that I don't know is if I will outspeed, yes or no? Um, I think you will. I don't know. And you may, you may, you may, you may get lucky and get a crit, uh, maybe. And live an ice beam or something. Yeah. But seed bomb kills it! And it isn't See. even a crit. Holy shit, Breloom. Oh Dude, you, you got so lucky that you outsped. Huh. That, that's all I can say. Yeah. Because, I mean, Milotic can be either really bulky or kind of fast. Yeah. So. But here comes the most... Here the comes most the terrifying. Threat. Garchomp. Earthquake, <laughs> Dragon Rush, Giga Impact, and Flamethrower. Seriously, flamethrower? Does he cover ice type weaknesses? I am. But uh, let's go for Ice Fang with uh, for alligator because that's quite effective. Yeah, I mean, really, that's your best bet, and it's probably gonna kill. Well, I did outspeed, so do I kill? And it lives. <gasps> oh! Crap. I got the freeze hacks. <laughs> you did it. What? You did. You did it. No, I did, no. but. Oh, it has citrus berry. Oh, because I thought that she was going to go for a full restore, but citrus berry probably takes it about the point that it doesn't use a full restore. So hopefully, she it might though because she's frozen. No, nope. wow. she didn't. Ice Fang kills <laughs> it. Oh my gosh! Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh. I can't. I can't believe you made that out with all six Pokemon. I can neither. Uh, just a few moments ago, you were a powerful challenger, and just now you became the strongest trainer. You're the newest champion, but okay. Um, <laughs> In fact, it's, it sounds like she was kind of a pushover. I mean, seriously. Yeah, that was excellent. Truly, an outstanding battle. You gave the support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power, and you guided them. No, I just trained them up a lot. <laughs> though they weren't I over leveled, just... that's the thing. They weren't though, and you just had good Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, we didn't use Ariados, but to be honest, poor, poor Ariados. And we didn't use Galate. Yeah, I don't. I'm not really a huge fan of Galate. It's okay, uh, I guess, but there aren't really good uh, physical psychic type moves. So, yeah. True. I mean, really, your best bet is Psycho Cut. Yeah. Uh, luckily, it does learn it uh, through level up, but still, you know. Uh. It, it's still. Yeah. Wow, I, I just don't know how you made that out. I don't know. I don't know either. Uh, but we're about to, end, to enter the Hall of Fame. Damn. Room and ahead is the Hall of Fame. Jeez. And all six. So how many deaths in total? Uh, I believe eight. Yeah, and that Lucario killed what? Four. How many? Yeah. Let's. Yeah. <laughs> that that poor <laughs> those poor Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, but they were they were so amazing Pokemon. Like seriously, uh. Well, so is Lucario. Yeah, okay, that's true. But um, let me just speed up all this Hall of Fame bullshit. La di da di da. Yeah, I mean, oh, uh, I mean, so are you gonna are you gonna be doing the post or what? Or is this the actual finale? Um, yeah. You're good. <laughs> uh, this is probably the actual finale. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we have uh, Pokinos the Breloom. Which we caught at Victory Road. Scumbag the Ariados, which we caught at Iron Island. Fur Alligator, who was our 
starter Pokemon. Yeah. I can't right. believe that he made it. Uh, Galate, we met at the Great Marsh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah? Onshikro 214. Okay. Alright, sorry about that. I, I actually doesn't have to matter. go here soon. Uh, doesn't matter. Well, that's like right on time. But, uh, yeah. We beat the game in 22 hours and 40 minutes. Wow. Uh, well, hopefully we'll have less less deaths than the Egglock. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Um, this video will probably go up on Thursday. Because... Yeah. Uh, yeah, it will go up on Thursday. Because... Today I uploaded... Uh, Pokemon Omicron. With the third and fourth Elite Four members. Wow. So yeah, on Friday you guys will have another champion battle with Pokemon. I mean, Crown is tame. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But Omicron actually has quite a bit of uh, after games. So yeah. Cause um, I mean, if you saw the episodes, uh, it's not really a spoiler or anything, but um. The Elite Four have Sigil Halls, which are like gyms for the Elite Four. Hmm. So you'll have to take all of those and beat them. Wow. You know what, you know what I find really funny, though? What? Ash. <laughs> okay, so I just looked up like the anime episodes for when he fights uh, gym battles and all that. Yeah. Ash actually loses all badges before winning them except for one <laughs> and which one is that uh it's watson's the third gen electric oh yeah gen yeah like, <laughs> he's the only one they actually won against first huh but other than that nope <laughs> yeah but um <laughs> yeah um Thanks for watching the video, if you're still here for these weird credits, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, the uncut. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you guys, be sure to click the click that like button if you enjoyed this video. Uh, and, click, and click the subscribe button. And click the subscribe button, of course, if you would like to see more. Um, and of course, if you're hyped for that uh Pokemon Blaze Black and Volt White Eclock versus which I'm doing with Espionage. Be sure to yeah, subscribe. So, so you're gonna see you're gonna see more of me, sadly. Dang. Sorry to ruin you guys' uh <laughs> nah, I don't know. But um yeah, um next week will probably also be um a start of another new LP. Ooh, this ought to be interesting. Yeah, um, I believe I, <laughs> uh, I already told you about that one. Uh, I guess there's no real point in hiding it, I guess. Um, it will be yeah. a Pokemon Light Platinum Nuzlocke. So, yeah. Yeah, you did tell me. Yeah. So. I was thinking, I did tell you, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but um, pretty much Which, everything for uh, this setup, so yeah. That, that's gonna be interesting so i guess we'll see you guys all next time peace out <laughs> yeah and as always you guys i've been the chip blast 69 don't forget and i'm ash bear nice uh, the old man don't forget that you're all amazing people except for you oh you know who i'm talking about yeah you you know if you're out there you know who i'm talking and you know i'm talking to you so yeah so yeah Bye-bye! Bye-bye!